So, today I wanted to talk to you guys, of course, about Vera Bradley. Um, I, first I'm gonna, it's gonna be a, basically a video about good gifts to get people for Christmas that are from Vera Bradley. Sorry about my wacky hair here, I just got done taking my last final and I'm not doing my hair today. Um, but look at my shirt guys, it's Mickey and Minnie and it's Christmas. Yes, anyway, sorry about the weird angle on that. But, of course, this video is going to be about what other than Vera Bradley. Yay. Ooh, okay. Sorry if that was like, ah. I I'm sorry. I'm in a weird mood because, like I said, it's, I'm done with the semester of my first semester of college. One semester left until I can get out of this town. So excited. So, I'm going to talk about some things that, um, Two of the things are on my wish list, um, and then I'll share another thing that's on my wish list from Vera Bradley. Um, there's actually only one Vera Bradley thing on my Christmas list, which is amazing, um, probably because I already have a ton of it. Um, but these are some things. Um, one of them I received as a Christmas gift last year and this year, so I have two of them, but that's okay. Um, and I've actually purchased two this year for my friends, and that would be um, the Vera... Bradley, hold on, let me put, I want to put this thing out. The Vera Bradley Christmas ornament, and you're probably thinking if you've never seen a Vera Bradley Christmas ornament, this is a Christmas ornament? No. No, silly. This is the box that it comes in. So it comes in this nice, nice box. Um, and the Christmas ornaments look like this. They're hand painted. I don't know if you can, can you see that very well? Yeah, you can kind of see it. And, um, so it has the green. This is in Baroque, which was from last year. Um, one of my best friend's moms got me one last year. Because I was looking at them, um, when we were picking up from college. And we were waiting for them. So we went, to, we went into this, like, um, it's a store. Um, I'm not going to tell you what it's called. Because you could find out where, um, he lives. Not me, but. Anyway, and, um, it's a little, like, drugstore type of thing. And they have Beer Bradley stuff. And, um. I was looking at this and I picked it up because I was going to buy it. And then I was like, no, I don't need it. I'll put it back. I need to save my money. And then she, like, bought it for me. I didn't even ask. And I didn't even see her buying, like, buying it. But she was, like, waiting behind me in line. Because I was buying a Christmas present for some other people. And she got it for me. So, yay. And then I got it from my one of my best friends this year. She forgot that I had it. And um, she saw it and grabbed it for me. But I got... Um, Two of my best friends are really into Vera Bradley. Well, actually, three of them are, but I only got them for two. Um, one of them, she ha loves Mocha Rouge. She wanted Rhythm and Blues because um, we kind of, like, established that we were getting each other ornaments for Christmas <laughs> from Vera Bradley because we're both Vera, you know, obsessed. And um, I want Happy Snails, and she's getting it for me. I already saw it. Yay! Um, but I'll do a video when I get that one to show you guys what it looks like. Because I don't even know what the actual ornament looks like. So I'm excited for that. And I got her the, um, Mocha Rouge. Yeah. Which I have one of the things, um, one of the things I have here to show you guys is in Mocha Rouge. And I actually really like that pattern. I'm not a pink kind of a person, but I like it. Okay. Anyway. So, these are really nice. And the other one I got for my other friend is very very paisley because she wanted a pattern from last year and it's actually the friend who got me this this year i got her very very paisley for christmas another good christmas gift idea from vera bradley would be a vera bradley stocking i got this at the outlet sale because i don't know if you they, they, I, I know they show you that they have these online but i don't know if they actually have any more they have them in this color and symphony and hue but if they do have some, they're going to run out surely soon because they, this is from like two years ago. Um, and I wanted one, but I wasn't about to pay $30 for it because I already have a stocking. But this just hangs in my room and such. I like it. Oh, and look at guys. I'm so excited. You guys know how they have spree candy canes? They've had those for a long time. Mm, yummy. Now they have smarty candy canes. Smarty candy canes. And they taste so good. My mom is obsessed with Smarties. So I'm like, I grabbed some for her when I was at the grocery store today. And I like the spree ones. But honestly, the peppermint, one, peppermint ones are my favorite. Sorry, guys. Um, another thing that I think would be a great gift 
Um, oh, and by the way, this is $18, so this is a reasonably priced gift if you're, like, um, best friends, or even if you're doing, like, an ornament exchange. It's really, it's more probably than a normal ornament, but if you are buying for somebody who, love Vera, who loves Vera Bradley, and you are going to spend around 20 bucks on them anyway, this is perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And if you want to spend, like, 25 get them that and a bag of candy. Yay! Problem solved. Anyway, so this is a gr another great gift idea. Um, I love this wallet. I have um, it in Happy Snails, obviously my favorite pattern ever. Um, and it's not the all-in-one wristlet. It's called the Carry It All wristlet. And you can put your phone in here. My phone's charging, but we'll just pretend like my digital camera is my phone. <coughs> and I have a big phone, and this is kind of a thick camera, and it fits in there. My phone is taller, but then it, like, has a snap closure. And I really like that because my phone was too thick for um, the all-in-one wristlet because the all-in-one wristlet is a little bit slimmer. And my phone was too thick and it would always fall out. And this keeps it in there and it's a little bit wider. So for iPhones, Blackberries, if you have a smartphone, it'll basically fit in here. I don't have a smartphone, but it's just like a dinosaur egg. And then in here, it does not have the ID thing on the back. But I kind of like that because people aren't, like, seeing your ID everywhere you go. It's in here. Although when I went away to school for the whole five days I was there, um, this was not as helpful as it would have been to have it on the outside because I could just, if I had it on the outside, I could just swipe to get it in. Like, it could go through the plastic and it could swipe. But this, I had to open my wallet and show it through here. So if I do go away next year, which I'm hoping I do, I will get one that has it on the back just for that purpose has an ID slot, one, that slot, then one, two, three, four other card slots, which is nice. A place for your cash so you don't have to fold it up, which is also nice. And then it, of course, has the zipper. And then it has a little um, wristlet thing in case you just want to carry it like this. And a lot of college people have this. I am a freshman in college, and a lot of people at my school have this. And it's really good for anybody... Even if they're not a huge Vera fan, it's a good way to get them started. If you want to get them started, it is. The last thing I'm going to show you is something that I have that I've been using a lot lately. And it was in my um, Two Bags A College Girl Should Have video. And um, this is probably one of my favorites just because, I don't know, I just really like the pattern. And like I said, it's it, it's Mocha Rouge and it's the Mini Hipster. And I know. I'm 18 year old. I'm 18, guys, and um, I love big purses. I just do. And um, recently I've bought a few bags that weren't Vera Bradley, and I don't want to use them anymore. What is up with this? Anyway, ignore it. And um, I just keep coming back to this bag because it just lets me have the basics, what I need. And I don't need a lot wherever I'm going, you know. I have back here, just so you, I'm not going to do, like, what's in my purse. I'm just showing you what it can fit. I have some Kleenex and, um, like, three lip balm type things. And then in here I can put my keys and my phone if I, well, we'll just pretend that this little calculator thing's my phone. And it doesn't make it that bulgy. Um, and then an ID plat thing right here, but my ID's in there. And then in here I have a wallet that I'm going to try and switch into my not very broadly but look at this guys i wanted to show you this because i got this at coach okay it's 58 dollars. no way in heck would i pay 58 dollars for this bag because it's like teeny tiny okay but i had a 50 dollar off coupon so it was only eight dollars score so anyway that's cute but um then i have gum and other stuff in there so it's actually it holds like enough what i need and then i carry my backpack with me to school on the note of backpacks, that's what I want for Christmas. The biggest thing I want is my, um, not my, it's not mine yet, a, um, book bag. Have you guys seen them? They're not, like, the laptop backpack. It's not the old backpack. It's a book bag. It came out this fall, just with the fall colors, and it's called a book bag. It was $92, and it was this week on sale for 40 And do you think my parents would buy it this week? No. I, don't even get me started. But now it's uh it's back it's on sale but it's for seventy dollars so they can pay thirty dollars more because I still want it. Um, I'm just kidding. If not, I'll probably end up buying it because I have a job now. Yay. Um, 
so yeah that's pretty much it oh do you guys want to see my christmas tree in my room this is my room my grandma's dog is with us because she's still sick if you've seen my videos from like two months ago she's still sick okay so there's my christmas tree guys you're seeing another little thing of my room but i have my candy canes on there and then i have like a little christmas tree skirt and then over there i have my tv with my tis the season or no it's um Island Spice Candles. I love Yankee Candles or candles from um, Bath and Body Works. So, I'm hoping to go to Bath and Body Works actually today to get some um, sul Sultan, Selkton, whatever, and Co. Candles. Because I'm having a Christmas party tomorrow and I really want to have them before then. But, I don't know. We'll see. So, I hope you guys have a very, very Merry Christmas. And just, um, I, wa I just wanted to say that this is all my stuff. Um... I haven't been sponsored. I'm not bragging about what I have. Just giving you some ideas because, honestly, I was drawing some blanks with my friends. Um, and just remember that, not to be preachy, but the Christmas season's not about gifts. And it's hard for me to remember that sometimes. It really is. But it's not about how much you give. It's not about how much you get. It's not about how much snow there is. Although, I live somewhere where there should be snow now and it's not snowing. But it's not about that. It's about God and Jesus. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, that's fine. You could use these as Hanukkah gifts. You could use these as just birthday gifts, whatever. You know, gift ideas. But this is around Christmas time, so that's why it's about Christmas. So I wish you guys a very, very Merry Christmas. And just remember what the season is about, guys. And spread God's love to everybody. And I hope that you have a great Christmas. I'm pretty sure I've said that like 50 times, but bye! <laughs>